This is like the Academy Awards for us. If you'll just give me a quick second, I just have to brag on the team. Liz Ryan tells us what team was brag worthy at a recent St. John's County School Board meeting. Chief Financial Officer Gretchen Saunders was thrilled that the accounting team won the Certificate for Achievement in Excellence in Financial Reporting for the seventh year in a row. Woo, it's so exciting. Dawn Posey, Amy Snodgrass, Elizabeth Moore, Nancy Roca, Tony Dendler, and the folks that couldn't be here, Stacy, Abney, and Ashley, pour their heart and soul into this. Another big announcement at the meeting. It is not an easy path to become the St. John's County School District Spelling Bee Champion. Superintendent Forson congratulated this year's Spelling Bee winner. Sari Vadia Silaveri. Seventh grade student at Landrum Middle School won the annual St. John's County School District Spelling Bee. 48 elementary and middle school students from 32 public schools, four private schools, St. John's Virtual School competed for the honor of representing St. John's County in the First Coast Regional Spelling Bee on Monday, March 25th. The winner of the Regional Spelling Bee will advance to compete in the Scripps National Spelling Bee scheduled in May in Washington, D.C. He also recognized retiring employees at the meeting. From Otis A. Mason Elementary School, Michelle Gatchel. From P.B. Rawlings Elementary School, Teresa Gaibeck. From the Transportation Department, Anthony Gutierrez. From Bartram Trail High School, Michelle Keish. Bus operator with 18.9 years, Ms. Vicki Lovett. From Murray Middle School, Mr. Paul Pelletier. From Beachside High School, Louis Santiago, math coordinator in our school district, Ms. Kim Wolner. And from the Facilities Planning Department, Ms. Carolyn Wright. And we here at Flagler Broadcasting salute them for their dedication to St. John's County Public Schools and wish them well in their retirement. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Liz Ryan. This local news is a service of your hometown Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. St. John's County headlined the recent National Conference on Beach Preservation Technology. St. John's County was the headline presenter at the recent 37th Annual National Conference on Beach Preservation Technology, featuring Coastal Environmental Program Manager Stephen Hammond. He discussed the six coastal management projects underway and the four additional ones planned for next year, totaling more than $70 million. It is really great to see this on the beach, see, see projects actually working, providing protection to these upland infrastructures, all the different homes, seeing homeowners come out and actually give us compliments on uh, how great the projects are turning out. St. John's County Commissioner Henry Dean gave a message on the importance of the region's tourism. We employ about 30,000 folks in the tourist industry. The biggest draw for the tourism industry is our beaches. A sizable amount of funding for the beach projects that includes over 4 million cubic yards of sand has come from the federal government, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, FEMA, and $13.5 million from the state of Florida. Hammond adds it shows how important these projects are to St. John's County. You need some sort of beach nourishment to have a nice place for people to go recreate, as well as the environmental side of it. Attendees invited to participate included professional engineers, elected officials, academic researchers, tourism planners, as well as coastal biologists and geologists. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. It's pretty simple. There's no um, unlawful or uh, careless operation of e-bikes in the pedestrian area on the beach. The city of St. Augustine Beach has established rules for electric bike riders. The city adopting St. John's County's e-bike ordinance that was recently amended, Police Chief Daniel Carswell explains. You're, you're still able to ride your e-bike at a regular pace and giving pedestrians the right of way or staying off to the side near the vehicles. But if you're weaving in and out of the pedestrians or going over the 10 mile an hour speed limit, or you're towing people on the front handlebars, things like that, you will be stopped by a, a deputy or an officer and you could be subject to a citation. Chief Carswell says e-bike riders now have to follow the same rules as bicyclists. Those operators have all of the rights of a regular bicycle operator on the road, but they also have the duties and responsibilities. They have to stop at stop signs. They have to give pedestrians a right away on the crosswalks and on the sidewalks. They have to ride with the flow of traffic. They have to have lighting. So. While you're afforded all those same rights as a bicycle and you can ride in all the same places, you also have the responsibilities. Chief Carswell says the new ordinance has already gone into effect. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Daryl Moody. 
And now you're up to date with St. Augustine's local morning news. I'm Rich Carroll.